Welcome to Dogwood Springs Outdoors. Today, we're getting into something that's probably gonna test my limits. I am, you know, at best a shade tree mechanic. And I'm my, this is a John Deere 5310 uh, tractor. We're gonna, I'm leaking uh, fluid from the steering cylinder up front. And so I have gotten a uh, set gasket set for that, a little pack of a uh, plastic and rubber there is $170. That's ridiculous. But anyway, um, it's leaking and so I'm gonna try to disassemble that and, and replace all those gaskets and then get it back together. I don't know, you know, what I'm getting into. I hadn't done it, but I just decided I would film it in case it helps somebody else. You know, and I got the technical manual for it so I'll be going by that best I can but anyway uh hope this is helpful I hope I can do it and hopefully we'll end up with a uh functional non-leaking tractor here when we're done but thanks for tuning in now this was on there very tight I broke it loose used a cheater bar to break it loose I couldn't just do it But the first thing we gotta do is get this tie rod in on. Anyway, I don't know, I think I, you have to, if you loosen the bottom nut, you can spin the whole thing around to access it better with your wrench, because otherwise, Tractor frame gets in the way. Okay, so my um, joint separator was not uh, big enough, even on the this is a Harbor Freight thing, but even on the uh, wider setting, even on the wider setting there, it was not big enough. Well, it actually probably would have been, um, except this is, was too narrow uh, in there to fit under the ball there. So I had this other one, unfortunately, just pressure. I got enough pressure on that. I actually had to use a pry bar, you know, and, and knocked it loose with that. So it's... So this is the whole unit. I ended up um, not filming everything because I got into something I wasn't expecting and, and really was too difficult. But uh, in the only thing I had been able to find online, which was a 5310 like mine, it was like in India and uh, the connections were different. This cap was, was not what was mounted onto the frame and so the cap this whole piece right here is what i have to take off to get to the all the gaskets and seals are up mostly inside that um so i'm gonna have to take this off um with the tie rod and then the other side as well to end, eventually slide the whole tube out but We'll try to just video it and talk about it as we go um, or add it later. And I did order because I didn't think I was going to have to take the whole thing off just because the way I thought what I was doing. I had only ordered one of these little boots to fit on here. So in the meantime, I ordered another one for this other side, which is not in as bad a shape, but I've, I've damaged it uh, getting that off, that tie rod end off. So anyway, I got a replacement there. Mm. 
On mine, this cap is the one that was leaking. So I'm gonna try to work with it first. I'm gonna, it's, normally I would, since the way it came off, I would would take that one off and replace everything on it first. But since it wasn't leaking, I'm gonna start with this one in case I mess up a, a seal or a gasket or whatever, replacing it. Then I got extras for this side, just by chance. Hopefully I won't, but like I said, that's the most important one because that's where it was leaking. This is where I need some help. That one's may have been a problem right there. I don't know if y'all can see that's busted out. I didn't do that. That was already there. I pulled it from the other side here.
as handy if you forget to have the other one, the other cap where you can look at. Don't if you don't take them all out at the same time, you put one together back together at a time. I think that's in there. Sorry, my head keeps getting in the way. You can see what I'm doing. all the insides of that one and got this one out here gotta get that Best I can tell, that's the same. Um, the grooves, looking at there, see if there's any, if that, that groove is in the middle or lean to one side more. Hopefully they didn't make it that complicated. It doesn't look like they did. This one was kind of damaged already too. Had a nick in there that I don't think I did. There's two on there that I knew I was, had an extra gasket. I put that one in first. Actually, I was wrong. This one's got a little notch in it, too. This is by far the tightest one of all of them. It's not even close to going over there. There it goes. 
most fun. We got our new boot on this side. We still got to put put a one over there. I don't know where I put it. I got to find it and we'll get it on and get back out there to the tractor. Start trying to reassemble. But these the three bolts that go in there are called cap screws. And uh, you're just supposed to put some medium strength, the blue like thread locker and sealer on those screws and then tighten them back Tighten those bolts back into, I think 147 pounds uh, is what the technical manual says. My hydraulic lines come back down and dripping. Ugh. Tighten it down much until I get the other bolts in. The tie rod is uh, the nut on there, and when you start trying to tighten it, it's just spinning the whole, because that's like a ball and socket joint kind of in there, and it's just spinning the whole thing uh, and won't tighten. And so, one of them, hopefully this will work. This is just a kind of a little cheat trick, and if your tie rod, depending on, you know, some tie rods are come up from the bottom like that, and if that's the case, you could actually Use something like a jack if you need to, or some put a little pressure on there. You don't want to overdo it and bend anything, but uh, anyway, that's a possibility. I just need to get it tight, and then I can tighten it down, or tight enough to where it you know, gets started. So I'm just gonna use a pry bar. To try to put some pressure, downward pressure on there, so. It won't spin the whole thing. I don't know if I can do it or not. Let me see. I don't know. There we go. And that was all you needed. So that's a wrap, everybody. Um, it seems to be fixed. Uh, knock on wood. We've since we've gotten it all back together and, and tightened down. up, bush hogged the entire place. Uh, done some more work on the box blade and whatnot, and a little more, and <clears throat> pulled up a fence post and stuff. So testing it all kind of ways, and nothing seems to jarred anything loose. It's holding holding tight. So no leaks, but. It was a it was a big project for me. It took a while, you know, over the course of, of uh, several weeks and, and getting the parts, but but finally got it and, and glad to be back having the tractor again. But if you appreciate this kind of content, y'all hit the like button and subscribe and and uh, come back and see us. Thanks for watching.